Hey, how you doing? This is CapTech here bringing you another video on getting back to basics. So today I want to go over Word. Uh, I'm going to go over each Microsoft application like on the weekdays. On the weekend I'll do my regular IT videos, but today I want to go over Word. It's a perfect day to go over Word, uh, especially since I had a couple issues today with Word. So, um, in Word, you could do a couple of things. You could do normal you could put spacing heading heading two. you could also tell the paragraph or convert the paragraph to how you feel like it um this the weird issue i had today was this thing where the where the, the paragraph icon kept showing up so i'm gonna say this is let me just put um i want to make this as a pdf because i'm gonna go over that right now so I uh, I saw this. I'm like I'm like every every time every time um, one of our um, customers or clients every time he opens a, a a word document it would show this paragraph icon, and we looked at it today and I'm like I have seen this before. So oh okay yeah you just gotta uncheck this. So, oh I didn't know that yeah yeah it's a little paragraph icon it shows paragraph marks and other hidden formula let's say set, uh, settings and stuff like that. So here you can insert a picture. So if you want to insert a picture from your computer, you could do that. Um, you could do online pictures as well. So this gives you the option to actually go to the website or go online and actually search for an online picture. Um, these are shapes you could put on your on, on your Word document. Icons as well. Um, you have 3D models. You cut 3D models. Here's the screenshots. So if you want the screen capturing of your screen, you could do it and put it inserted over here. Also, you could add an online video, add a link. Add bookmarks. You can put comments, headers. Um, like these are like pre-build or pre-filled headers. You have footers as well, pages and text boxes, um, and a few other things. I'm I'm not gonna go over everything. It's just like the little basic stuff. So that's about it. That's every, like these things you go over, but that's about it. So now. I have a, I had another issue or not an issue but like a favor that from someone and like oh how do you how do you make uh, a word document into a different file I'm like what do you mean I, I want to make it into a PDF I don't I want to so someone send me a word document but I want it as a PDF document how do you do that and I'm like oh it's easy so you do file you do save as you do browse and then when you when you hit the little drop down menu you have the option to make it into a PDF. You also have the option to do other things as well, but the easiest one is creating a PDF, and you can call that a standardized PDF or a minimized standard. And then you have the options here, actually, and you have the options to select what pages you want to create a PDF. You can create a PDF on page one, page two, page three, page four, and then after that, you just save it down. And and then if you want to put a password on it, you could do that as well, which is kind of cool. So then when you save it, it'll come up as a PDF now. So now it's a PDF. Um, a lot of people don't know that. Uh, some common issues you would see with Word would be PDF, like trying to save down as a PDF. Another issue you would see is formatting. Uh, another issue you would see is is uh, it's really slow or n not responsive, and that that would go that would be under add-in. So every time there's an issue with a Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Office, any of the, any of the Microsoft products. Usually it's an add-in that's causing the problem. So you want to take the you want to uncheck the add-ins one by one, and narrow down what it is, and that's basically what you want to do. So you hit options, you hit add-ins, and you go to comms add-ins and just disable anything that you see there. Go to options again. Uh, you go into word add-ins, and just disable anything you see here, and then that's about it. And hit OK, and you should be good after that. Other things you could do on this, you create new documents, you could protect it, you could ins you could ins inspect it, you could go into options, you could do more stuff in options. Um, you could change the background of this if you like. That's entirely up to you. It will, it will change the background color. So like if you don't like the way it looks, you could change the color of it. So you could change the, the background to dark gray if you like. Um, some people like the class the classic white. Uh, black or white, there's different ones. Uh, also, you can display, proofing, save. I, I talked about this before. It saves every 10 minutes. So this is, 
Um, part of the reason why you that you know in in a, in a server environment or an IT environment, it should auto save automatically. And then here you could you could there's a format you tell it to save as like it's the default saving format would always be a Word doc. You could change it to PDF if you like. And then this is the default file locations of all your stuff. And uh, you got language. You could add another language if you like. You could add an additional one. Ease of access, advanced, uh, custom ribbon. And add as a trust center. Um, trust center. Uh, I want to go over this in depth in Excel. I'm not gonna go over on this. And then that's basically it. And, and if you see mail, you can actually, you could start an email, and you can actually, if you have Outlook open, you could create a you could create a mail as well. Or I want to show you something else you could do actually. You could export and create a PDF right here. You could change the file type. You could share it. So if you have, if you have an Outlook email, it, it actually it's there. So you could actually share the this as an email format. Um, and um, that's about it. That's pretty much everything. You have an account. You can change the background here. Do updates. Check the inside about Word and feedback. If you want to suggest feedback to Microsoft and and um, other issues you would have, like if you have an issue with printing. First thing you want to do is remove and re-add the printer. Um, second thing you want to do is, is uh, this is Microsoft recommended. You want to make Microsoft XPS Document Writer as the default printer. That usually solves a problem if you're having lag issues with Word or Excel or any Microsoft products. I don't know why this seems to fix it for some reason. So if you set this as a default printer, that usually fixes all the problems that correlate with lag on some of these applications, but also printing as like not printing, but like also when you're when you're working on a document, if you set that as a default, it actually doesn't it actually improves the speed of the document that you're working on for some reason. Um, obviously, you would change it back if you're trying to print something, but or you would like just hit the little drop down box when you're trying to print, and you you um you select another printer and then just print from it. So that that's pretty much it for me. Just a quick video on Word. Um, that being said, I hope everyone has a great evening. Happy Friday. As usual, rate, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And um, if someone if someone doesn't know anything about Word or any about Microsoft products, send them to my channel. I have a lot of information, a lot of different videos, and I'm always here to help. So if you have any questions or concerns or you need help with anything, let me know. I'm, I'm here to help. I'm, I'm not going to avoid you. <laughs> so definitely ask for help if you need help. One hand helps the other hand. Um... I hope everyone has a great weekend and uh, take care.